Hello and welcome to FPV Tips. I'm George and today we're having a look at the SkyZone Skyo 2X. Inside the box, we get the manual, as well as a bunch of accessories for the goggles. We get a JR data cable, a DC barrel jack to XT60 power cable, an extra AV cable, Futaba data cable, and two 5.8 GHz antennas, which we can pretty much toss as soon as we get them. The goggles come in this nice hard shell carry case, which is pretty sturdy, high quality. Um, it will probably do fine for daily transportation. Finally, inside the case, we find the goggles as well as um, a couple of uh, foam paddings. The strap on these goggles only goes around the head. There is no extra overhead strap, like for example on the Omei Commander FPV goggles. In addition, we see that we have um, a number of buttons, um, but we're going to get into the functions of those buttons in just a bit. Um, you also get a nice fan that deals with well, defogging the, the screens as well as cooling off the unit itself. Because those are the SkyZone um, O2X model, they also come in with a front camera. IPD adjustments under and a lot of input and output um, jacks here on the side. In terms of specifications, the SkyZone O2X FPV goggles have a 30 degree field of view and a resolution of 854 by, by 480. Uh, the interpopular distance is adjustable via the slider on the bottom and can be adjusted between 59 and 69 millimeters. This is important and is definitely something to consider. Um, and of course, it would depend mostly on your face shape, whether these goggles would be a good fit for you. The screens are high quality and very bright. Uh, the goggles come with diversity receivers, which is pretty much standard in 2019, with two SMA antenna connectors. The fan on the top can be toggled on and off via the power button on the side and is used to defog the goggles, as well as reduce the internal temperature of the unit. To power on the goggles, you could use anywhere between 7 and 26 volts, or that's pretty much anywhere between 2S and a 6S battery. Uh, the front camera has a field of view of 60 degrees and a resolution of 640 by 480. The goggles claim to support SD cards uh, up to 32 gigabytes. However, I used the 64 gigabyte card and that also worked just fine. The recorded DVR is in 30 FPS and an AVI file format. The goggles are pretty light and they come in at about 210 grams. On the bottom, you get um, a lot of input output ports. Uh, you get a mini HDMI port, a micro USB port, an AV in and an AV out, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And of course, you're gonna find also the SD card slot in that area. And here are the full specifications. To get up and running with the SkyZone uh, SkyO 2X goggles, the bare minimum of what you have to do is install the face foam on the face plate, uh, install a couple of antennas and plug in a battery. Now you probably initially want to remove the face plate in order to reach the lens protector so you could slide those out. Um, as soon as you've gotten those out of the way, you could proceed to attach uh, the foam piece to the faceplate and finally install the faceplate back um, on the goggles. The next step would be to install uh, the antennas. If you've been in FPV for a while, you probably are aware that you should toss almost immediately the uh, stock antennas that you get with the goggles 
they're not really that good and they're not gonna get you far. There are many good options uh, for antennas and your choice will depend on how and where you fly. Um, the choice pretty much boils down between two omnidirectional antennas uh, or one omnidirectional and a patch antenna. For example, if you never fly more than a couple hundred meters away from yourself, you fly uh, a lot all around yourself within that range, you could easily go for a setup with uh, two omnidirectional antennas. Uh, if you do fly further away from yourself in a particular direction, you know beforehand you can position yourself accordingly and therefore it's probably a better bet to grab a patch antenna, patch directional antenna and an omni antenna. In my case, I am using the uh, real ACC triple feed patch one antenna as a directional antenna and a long way clover leaf omnidirectional antenna. Of course, uh, you have to pay attention to get an antenna that has an SMA male connector um, because the goggles connector is an SMA female. In addition, I also do recommend grabbing yourself one of those 90 degree um, angle connectors as those help so that you never have to bend your antenna ever again and you could just Keep your omnidirectional antenna pointing straight up like this. Finally, the third step would be uh, to plug in a battery. I mentioned that the Skyzone OX2 FPV goggles take a pretty wide range of voltage, which is definitely convenient. Um, in my case, I just use an old um, 3S LiPo battery to um, provide them with power. The goggles come with a pretty long DC barrel jack to um, XT60 connector. And that's um, a really good chance for you to actually um, keep your attached battery in your pocket and reduce the overall weight uh, from the headset. You probably noticed that the Sky Zones have um, a lot of buttons, which is very handy and it makes using them uh, very easy. You should not feel overwhelmed though. Um, however, as you don't need to know much about all the different functions to just fly on a daily basis. The quickest way to get started is to just plug in a battery, uh, hold the power button to boot up the goggles and then press and hold the search button until the channel OSD panel comes up and then just press um, search again and wait for it to complete. Once on the correct channel, Press and hold the search uh, button again to close the OSD panel. If you'd like to record um, DVR, don't forget to insert an SD card in the slot here and then just press the record button once you're ready to record. You can also adjust the image settings, uh, you can toggle the front facing camera on and off we can play back um, previously recorded DVR as well as change bands and channels. So are the SkyZone SkyO2X the goggles for you? In many ways and for most people, I believe that the answer to this question is probably yes. Quite simply, the SkyZones are possibly the best FPV goggles for 2019. And while I did mention earlier that Google reviews are by definition pretty subjective, I'll try to make this as objective as possible. I'm someone who started with a cheap set of goggles um, before I knew I was going to get too serious into FPV and then quickly after I switched um, to Omway Commander goggles. Um, and I loved flying those for like over a year. Um, we're well aware also of top of the line setups such as the Fat Shark HDOs with the Rapid Fire module or similar. And that might be great and it could be good for some people, but in many cases, unless you're performing like a top of the line pilot and you fly at very different difficult locations, you really may not need all that, which adds up to well over double the price of the SkyZones KO2X. And that's not to say that the SkyZones won't perform well 
for top of the line pilots. Um, on the contrary, um, not only do they perform rather excellent, but they're also a crazy good value for money. But this is not just a money argument as well. It's a value and ease of use argument. Um, you are probably getting about 85% of the performance, if not more, of a top of the line setup right here in the sky zones. And that's about 40% of the price. Heck, if you grab the sky zone sky O2C version without the front facing camera, um, those go as low as 268, uh, $265 at the moment, I believe. And that's pretty cheap for a high quality goggle with awesome bright screens, great resolution, perfect diversity reception, and all sorts of functionality and overall feel. Subscribe for more FPV tips and happy flying.